This is how you can make a time zone converter command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so over in our code, we can go over to community and we can go ahead and create time zone converter.js. And here we're going to get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and do module.exports. We can go ahead and open this up and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and give it a name, which is going to be time time zone converter and then we can go ahead and give it a description which is going to be a get the time in a different region and then we can go ahead and add a string option we're going to go ahead and get option arrow function option at set name this is going to be our time zone and we can go ahead and set a description we can say the time zone to convert to and we're going to go ahead and set required to true we're actually going to add some choices as well and we're going to open this up here so i've gone ahead and added in 25 different time zones now the maximum you can actually use as a choice is 25 so you could add less than 25 but you can't add any more than 25 time zones so you can go ahead and pick and choose the time zones that you would like to use the other thing that's important to note is all of these time zones here are going to be supported however if you were to try to put like gmt plus eight or something like that into the value that's not going to work so i've done some converting using ai and this is the spreadsheet I've come up with. So I have the time zone and the usable region in the data object, which is how we're going to be converting the local time to the new time zone. So if you would like to use this, this will be in the description below. You can go ahead and find the time zone you want on the left here. Let's say we were going to go ahead and find the U.S. mountain time then all you'd have to do is look at this value and that's the value you're actually going to use in the choice value so you could use us mountain time in the name and then you could use america slash phoenix in the value so here i actually have it in this object we have us mountain standard time and we have america slash phoenix so it is in there as well all right so after you do that we can go ahead and add a comma and we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to start off by doing awaits interaction dot defer reply and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true as well next we can do const and we're going to get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction here we're going to go ahead and get our variables we can do const time zone equals options dot get string and that is going to be our time zone string just like that so now we're actually going to go ahead and do some conversion so we're going to get your local UTC date. So we can do const UTC date equals new date. So that's going to be your local time. Then we can do const local equals and we're going to get EN and we can do US. So we have our information about you or the user executing that command. Then we can do const local date equals UTC date dot to local string. And we can go ahead and get our local and then we can open this up and we're going to get our time zone, which is going to be our time zone just like that. So then after we do that, we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be our blurple. And we can actually go ahead and set a description. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. Uh, you could put the UTC dot to local string as your time. But for me, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get an emoji. And then we can go ahead and open up our time zone variable. And then we can go ahead and get another emoji. This time I'm going to do an arrow. And we can go ahead and get our local data. So basically what we have here is the time zone, which would be like Europe slash London because it does process the value, not the name. So it would be Europe, London, and then it would be an arrow. And then it's actually going to get the time, so the date and the local time for that region. So after we do that, we can actually go ahead and send this. So we can do await interaction.edit reply, and we're gonna go ahead and get our embeds, and we're gonna get our embed. And with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So we can go ahead and save this file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, we're actually gonna go ahead and get our time zone converter command. And as you can see, we have all of our choices here. I'm going to go ahead and start off by just getting the Eastern Standard Time, which is my time zone. As you can see, it's 2.03 p.m. And if we actually go ahead and select that time, as you can see here, we're going to get our America slash New York, which is the Eastern Standard Time location. And we're going to get an arrow, and it's going to give me the date. And it's also going to give me the time. And as you can see from right here, that is all correct information. So we can go ahead and try this a couple more times. We're going to get the command. And this time, we can just go ahead and get Greenwich Standard Time, which is European. So we can go ahead and get that one. And as you can see, it's Europe, London. We have our arrow. It is still the 10th of September, and it's going to be 7.03 p.m. So we can go ahead and try this one more time here. This time we can go ahead and get Hawaiian time. And as you can see, we have our Pacific Honolulu time, 
and we have our arrow. It's still the 10th of September, and this time it's 8.04 a.m. So this is actually behind my time, whereas the Europe London is ahead of my time. So as you can make an advanced time zone conversion command using your discord.js version 14 bot, if you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.